Today in Science 9, we're talking about some other ways that organisms are able to adapt to their environments so that we can understand the most extreme types of biodiversity. Sometimes what we'll see is we'll see dependence between species. This is known as symbiosis. So this is when one type of species helps out another one so that they both increase the odds of their survival. Uh, there's lots of different examples of these. A very commonly known one is clownfish will hang out in sea anemones. And sea anemones normally will sting fish because they use that to hunt and paralyze their prey, but they don't sting sea anemones. So that helps out both of them. Sea anemone gets this nice place to hide where its predators can't come after it because of the anemone, whereas the anemone actually gets it cleaner to get parasites off of it, as well as another fish that can scare away its own predators. So both of them are able to benefit. Um, there are several different types of symbiosis. We talk about more the more in later years of science courses, but in overview, the three types that we usually talk about are mutualism, when both organisms benefit, commensalism, when one of them benefits and the other one's like, yeah, whatever, I don't care, and parasitism. And parasites are when one organism benefits and it actually hurts the other one. Although an important thing to remember about parasites is usually they don't want to kill their host. A parasite that kills its host is actually a bad parasite because the longer it can keep the host alive, the more it can survive and spread itself around. We also want to point out that some organisms can live in extreme environments. So this is a tardigrade. Tardigrades are these tiny little animals that are immensely tough. So uh, tardigrades are what we call extremophiles. Extremophiles are able to survive in uh, well, extreme environments. Extremophile actually means lover of the extreme. And this can happen because life is extremely adaptable. Every, on every part of the earth, different organisms have found different ways of surviving. Sometimes these uh, organisms are highly specialized. Other times uh, they're just very, very tough generalists that can spread all over the place.